Are you looking to launch your campaigns across multiple countries without having to do all the different translation work for the different languages? If so, listen up, this video is for you. My name is Aaron Farrell and I'm with Sellers Arena. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do exactly that in just a few extra steps or extra clicks. All right, so a little bit of a backstory here. Basically, I was going through one of our clients' accounts and just kind of going to look through different features, different things that Amazon is adding in. They're constantly adding new features pretty much all the time, it seems like, anymore. I'm trying to see, you know, what else can we do to expand the audience that we're advertising to or who can we actually add in addition for our particular product placements and our advertising that we run for our client. And one thing that I just stumbled upon was this ability to do what's called a multi-marketplace campaign. Basically, it says it's a seamless way for both sellers and vendors to launch campaigns in a new region without spending additional time setting up and translating individual campaigns throughout the different countries. So basically, as it says here, multi-marketplace campaign creation is available to sellers and vendors in the UK, France. France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Canada, the US, and Mexico for sponsored product campaigns with automatic targeting. So this is like an automatic campaign. There is other ways to do in more of a manual way, but for this particular video, just talking about the automatic campaign. And essentially it's got the different instructions here that you would use in order to set it up. And another thing that I wanted to show you here, actually if I click on this, it goes a little bit more in depth. Basically, setting it up is doing, you have a registration. It says to be able to create the campaigns in the multiple marketplaces at once, you'll have to be registered within those different regions within your Amazon account. So if you don't have access to the Canadian market or the Mexican market or any of the other marketplaces that you want to advertise, first step is to go ahead and get registered for that. Luckily, the client's account, they're registered in both Canada and Mexico. The other thing is product selection. It says we'll find the appropriate matching uh, advertised products across marketplaces. And you can always check what we found as your matching products and remove any incorrectly matching products. So essentially, that sounds to me like they're kind of going after the ASINs or individual ASINs that may be in that marketplace. The other thing is keyword translation. So basically, as you go ahead and set this up, Amazon is doing the work, what they call a machine translation service, uh, that takes the keyword that's in your country particular language so let's say if it's in english maybe it's converting over to spanish or vice versa right this is only good for the additions of the keywords so like if you're going into let's say a negative keyword situation or a negative asin you're gonna have to still do that manually at the time of this recording at least and then budget conversion so basically they're using the foreign exchange rate to try to figure out so let's say you had a five dollar a day budget that would be translated over to how many Mexican pesos or how many Canadian dollars, for example, and they would basically match and mirror that same campaign across the different marketplaces. Let's go ahead and hop in here and just kind of show you what it looks like when you're going to create a campaign. And then, yeah, you can see it for yourself. So essentially here we're in a new campaign uh, to go ahead and launch. We've got the option for sponsored products, sponsored brands, or sponsored display because this account in particular has brand registry. So that's why we've got the sponsored brand and sponsored display. And then we're going to go ahead and just click on sponsored products and hit continue here and just going to leave this campaign something generic then i'm just going to call this sellers arena put it in that portfolio start date end date budget let's say five dollars for this example we're choosing automatic targeting here and then dynamic up down for right now add group one and then we could go through and just add any of the products on our catalog, but we don't really even have to do that uh, to see this option. And then we set up our default bid and right here you'll see this new feature it's tagged new but it basically says launch to other marketplaces so now we've got 
uh, the Canadian marketplace and the Mexican marketplace as well. And as you can see here, that $5 a day translates into about $6.34 Canadian and about 102 pesos in Mexico. So in essence, it's matching that $5 bid, converting that actual daily budget across the different marketplaces and then allowing you to launch all the different three campaigns and obviously you could add negative keyword targeting here if you had something specific that you didn't want to show up or you could do negative product targeting as well but as you can see it's optional this is optional as well and then we would essentially just hit launch three campaigns and then all of a sudden now we've got that auto campaign not only in the u.s marketplace but also in the mexican marketplace and the canadian marketplace so this is a very new feature that you know may potentially be slowly rolling out to each account i'm not sure i know amazon a lot of times doesn't release it to everyone and it can depend on your actual overall account size and a lot of the accounts that we work with are quite big. So in that regards, we gain access a lot of times before maybe let's say the general public would uh, to certain features and functions through the Amazon platform and Solar Central or the advertising console, which I'm in right now. Um, but hopefully you guys can start testing this out, start playing around with it. But again, remember that you're still going to want to go in and take a look at the negative keywords. And also, you know, if you do have someone that's native in that particular language, let's say if it's Spanish, knowing some Spanish or having someone that knows Spanish may be still valuable because for all we know, Amazon could add some crazy keywords that aren't, you know, very common in that particular area or maybe there's another word for it that's more common or more popular and they're translating it wrong the other thing to also kind of take into consideration as well is if you're doing this to other marketplaces is it an english speaking country like the uk or canada or is it more like a, a spanish speaking country because if you are running ads directly to a spanish speaking country and you have no spanish in your particular product at least from my understanding unless they use like google translate through their web browser they're not going to be able to fully understand or grasp what exact features and benefits that you your particular product has and if it does translate through google translate it could be kind of odd or incorrect so you may not get as many conversions but again this is just a way to expand your overall reach with your advertising and i have hope this video has been valuable for you guys if you could it'd mean a lot to me if you went ahead and shot me a like went ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way you know when we're releasing more videos uh, as of right now we've been releasing about four videos every single week for you guys for completely free so appreciate the love the support everything like that and i'll talk to you on the next one see ya